All right, guys, so if you guys want to join in on this contest, I'm giving away a JBO WP40 and a JBO WP25 and a piece of Red Planet SPS or three heads of Hammer Coral. Now, I've kind of been doing this thing, guys, where I ask you guys a question and you comment below, um, like what salt you're using, what's your favorite fish, and so on. So on this video, guys, I basically want to know what type of stage RO do you use? Do you use a two-stage, a three-stage, a five-stage, a seven-stage? And how often do you guys change out your RO filters? So I want you guys to go ahead and answer that below, and uh, that'll enter you guys in to win these prizes. And uh, you guys got to keep doing that on my videos for another two months and one week, and that's when we'll choose our uh, our uh, our winner. Hey guys, Tyler Johnson here. Figured I'd uh, shoot an update on my do-it-yourself RO filter and how I upgraded it and increased its gallon per day. Uh, basically guys, I've, uh, I used to run this three stage bulk, bulk resupply. Well, it was a five stage. There was a DI uh, cartridge with that, but uh, a buddy of mine's using that. But uh, I used this for a long time, did a great job, and then I let someone borrow it, and uh, I just went ahead and, and found me another one. I found this one at a thrift store for 30 bucks. I uh, took all the cartridges out, changed them, changed the membrane, found this canister for $12 at another thrift shop, and uh, bought the uh, cartridge from Bulk Reef Supply and filled that with deionized crystals. So, while it's running, this is my end port, which is zero, and out is zero. Now, I want you guys to take into consideration how old some of these filters are. Uh, this RO filter is uh, well over three years old and it's probably ran well over I'd say four or five thousand gallons through that and uh, this uh, RO membrane is right around a year and seven months old along with these uh, sediment filters and charcoal filters as well so you know that's one thing I was kind of worried about getting into the hobby I see all these people having to change their cartridges out every six months but uh, mine has seemed to be last a really long time so I don't know if it's because where I live or or what I don't know but uh, let's get back on track guys and I'll show you guys how I increased my gallon per day so check this out guys most RO units don't do this it's kinda hard doing this one hand But as you can see, that's a steady stream of RO. Um, a lot of RO units can't do this, but as you guys can see, this is real fast now. And uh, all I had to do, guys, and take, in, take this too, guys. Um, you guys can also go on Bulk Reef Supply or all these other websites and buy this kit. And I believe they're right around, uh, you know, possibly $75 or so. But uh, all you do, guys, is you tap into your regular RO and run part of your, your water line to another membrane. And then you run your waste in with your other waste. Pretty simple, isn't it? And uh, basically, guys... This is cleaning your water fine for two of these RO units. And the cool thing, guys, is your wastewater is going to go down. You are uh, you're going to be making more water instead of sending more water down down the wasteland. So um, I, I believe it's a great upgrade for the system. Um, I can bang out 55 gallon drum in less than a day and uh, you know I'm pushing well over 135 gallons a day so I'm super stoked on that guys now that I'm going to be adding another uh, tank to my system it'll be uh, smart to have 
an RO unit that can, uh, you know, meet my needs if need be. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, remember, guys, check out thrift stores. Um, even for these right here, guys, check this out. This is an under-the-water faucet uh, unit right here. You, all you got to do is, for $9 on bulk reef supply, you can purchase the cartridges in here and uh, fill it up with carbon or GFO. Unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to see the GFO tumble, but you can build your own carbon reactor. And I got this, guys, for 12 bucks, and I'm sure I could have got it for a lot cheaper. So... Good luck reefing guys, I hope you uh, found this video helpful, and good luck reefing. Alright guys, if you're interested in joining in on this contest that I'm holding right now, um, first place, JBO WP40, which is right there, and second place is a JBO WP25, with third place being an SPS Red Planet or a Hammer. Um, <clears throat> all you got to do is basically comment on this video, like on this video, and subscribe to my channel. And in, uh, I think right now we're at two weeks and, or two months and one week, I will be uh, randomly selecting a comment from one of these videos and uh, I will find my winners. But uh, we've been doing this thing where we pick a comment or I pick a question and you guys comment it, 